Hello everyone, welcome to Craft Art Collectibles YouTube channel. I'm John, and in this video, I'm going to make a useful little tool to clean my fish tank. Using a, it, it's a huge fish tank. It's in the wall, it's over here. Long stick, this is about uh, three and a half foot long, something like that. And all I'm going to do is attach a blade to the end of it. I'm going to use a hacksaw to put a little groove in the end and then I'll drill some holes so I can slide this in about right here and then I'll cut the corners off. So basically I'm not even going to attempt to do nothing but hold it just like this. don't need much that's about it all right that's about the thickness I need for the blade and I can check that by just putting the blade in okay now I got to determine how deep I want this to go I don't even need that And I want it to go just below the surface. All right, if you can see the little groove in there, I want it to go past the groove just a hair. I don't know. I still need some, some on the end of it, but that's all right. So, what I'll do here, it's just right on the end of it, so. You can see I just push down into it. <laughs> Use my cheaters. several holes side by side. Let's try. I've had this fish tank in the wall for so many years, it's unreal. I'm going to be putting some uh, river fish in it. I also have a 60 gallon octagon, octagon tank. So right now, basically, I'm just trying to whittle out that channel. I'm not sure if that'll get it, but it should. You want to grab the hammer for me? Let me go ahead and do this. I do need this for a second. Let me go ahead and get these corners off here. that I got 
broken. So I'm going to be doing a show on making handles. Clean up my little mess. All right, so let's try it out. I'm back in my drywall days. But actually, when doing the flooring, I keep that sharpened. Let's see, it's bent. <laughs> but yeah, you could use this to put down some tag strip real nice. And this thing works. It works pretty good. Let's see how. Now what I'll do is go try it out. Pause it. All right, everybody. If I can keep this right. How's it working? It's working pretty good. Now that's a dull blade. This is actually my painting blade. My painting blade for painting. And it's, it's old. But it looks like it was working pretty good, huh? So yeah, that's a huge tank, and it looks like crap, but that happened over the winter. We should have been down here a little bit more, but... Yeah, you're going to have to move uh, the, uh, the one thing, because the angle that you need isn't right, honey. Yeah, that's a problem, is the angle. So, redesign because of the angle. It's not working. It's too long. You're going to have to cut a part of it off. Why is it too long? The angle's wrong. To include it needs to be sharpened. So, I'm going to redesign it, but that works pretty good. I'm going to uh, cut it, cut the angle of the uh, opening to where the blade's going to be facing the, uh, here, let me see it real quick. All right, so. What I'm going to do is actually angle it like this. That way you can have it sticking out this way. So it tick, sticks out uh, past this edge here. Because with this it doesn't really get the angle. There's not enough. And that tank, it's two foot deep, four foot long. <laughs> May not look like it in this, but it is. All right, so everybody have a good one. This was just a quick video. I wanted to see if I could make this thing. It works. Um, I'm going to probably cut the end of this off. A little shorter, she said, because of my duck work right here above our heads um, and put the angle on it so I'll be back all right I'm back so I cut me a little groove in it uh, angled it right and then I actually put it on a stone so let's see how it works 
you want to tell me how it does? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Much better. Oh, look at that. Looks like it worked pretty darn good. All right. Well, as soon as we get the uh, tank looking good, and I'm going to put some channel catfish in there. Probably some bluegill. We have some crawdads. We'll see what kind of stuff we can uh, have in there. I've already had some tanks with turtles and catfish and bluegill before, so so I got an octagon tank sitting uh, just off to the side. So yeah, this works really good. Ha! All right, you have a good one.